So this is the review on the LV Stride. I've already done another video, um, more of an unboxing kind of initial setup thing, but this is gonna be my final thoughts on the LV Stride. I've also done some testing on the booby barometer, on suction, things like that. So we have a better idea of what this pump is all about. All right, so here we go. The LV Stride. This is a much more affordable option than the original LV. The original LV, which is this one. My little one is awake from his nap, by the way, so he's helping slash not helping. The original LV is $500 for a pair, all right? And the LV Stride is about $200. However, it's only available through like a direct medical equipment company. So I think I got this one. I did pay out of pocket for this one because I already had gotten a pump for my last baby. Um, I think it was $200, so it wasn't terrible. And you can do that too. You can buy it from a DME company if you want. You don't have to go through your insurance, but that is how they're um, selling this pump currently. I have no idea if they plan to change that, but for now, that's what it is. Okay, so this pump is quite small and these cups are definitely smaller than other cups that we've seen before. So for example, Here's the LV Stride. Here's the Kara Cup, which is a larger cup, but you can see it is definitely a slimmer profile. It also has a lot better shape. So this shape in your shirt looks much more like a breast than this one does, if you see what I'm saying. And you see how the angle, not only is it skinnier, but the angle is much better. It's really good. Here it is compared to the actual original LV. So it's very similar. Very similar shape, uh, curvature, stuff like that. So it actually does look pretty good in the bra. This comes with two of these, so you can pump simultaneously. The actual pump comes with a clip that you can clip on. You can also hook a lanyard to it, which is really, really cool. I love it when pumps have a way to hook it to you. So you can hook it on your shirt. I would probably hook this on my pants to be honest my like hip or my favorite ways to wear a lanyard and wear it right in between right around my neck like that um okay setup on this pump is pretty easy it has some unique things some little balls to hold that in it does have a easy pour spout which is nice hi squirt yeah i see you Mm -hmm, thank you. Um, all of these parts are going to need to be bought either on the LV website or from the DME company that you purchased it from because they've got some really unique, like that's a valve. I've never seen that kind of valve before. Okay, thank you. I actually really love pushing this together though because it has a very satisfying like, seal. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that over my squawking baby, but this is... These cups are pretty dang leak proof. I don't even know where they're gonna leak. Can you see this tiny little hole? This is the air hole. It is so small. It's like, it's so tiny. And for milk to get out of that, you would seriously have to, oh my gosh, it would have to be so full and you would have to be like bending over. That hole is so, so tiny. It's only enough for a little bit of air to escape in the suction loop. So I would say these are pretty dang leak proof. Uh, you've got the classic guidelines on here that LV likes to do. That really helps for nipple alignment. So they've got the two here and here, which makes it a lot easier to line it up with your nipple because we know with the cups or wearable pumps, trying to see what you're doing is a little bit trickier but when you have the guide it really does make a big difference you can aim that right in the middle and center place it on and you can feel much more confident that you've got it in the right spot so LV is doing some really good stuff with their design and just some little features that make it easier for you okay this cup holds five ounces you could probably fit six in there but five is what it is measured to um, you can do you can do double or single, of course. Um, this is a hard flange, but 
most of them like this, the LV is that's missing the flange, but it's a hard flange as well. The Willow is a lot of these. This is the Kara Cup, that one is too. The Legendary Milk Cup is a soft yeah. flange, but I actually don't mind it. LV does a really nice job of making it nice and smooth. My pump, I think I ordered the one that came with 24 millimeter and 21 millimeter flanges, which is great. I like to pump with a smaller size, so the 21 works well for me. Or I can stick an insert in the 24 pretty easily. I might have to cut it on that one, but should be no problem. Okay, so let's talk about the actual pump here, okay? So, it's a fine little pump. It definitely feels like... LV suction, which is light and gentle. So if you know that you like strong, you like to feel it, that helps you get your letdowns, I would not recommend this pump for you. This definitely feels like a gentle LV pump, um, which is pretty cool. I, when I first used it, I'm like, wow, that's not the best. I can barely feel this. But to be honest, that's kind of what the LV pump is like. It's meant to be a really soft and gentle thing. But my suction tests were consistent with what other pumps are doing. In fact, I'll tell you, I've got it on my computer over here because I don't want to tell you any of the numbers wrong. Okay, LV stride on the expression mode, so which is the mode where you're getting most of your milk out after you're let down, the max. Uh, one time I got 231 max suction. Another time I got 227, 231. Okay, so I would say consistently 231 max suction on that, which is fine. Um, let me tell you what the original LV is, 239. So right in there, um, which is actually kind of impressive because sometimes when you add in tubing and things like that, you lose a little bit of suction. I also tested that on I was only doing one, so I did have the plug here, which again, you can lose a little suction that way too. So 231 is fine. Um, for reference, on like my Pumpables Genie Advance, that's one of my like little, actually, sorry. <laughs> I always have it close. This is a pump with like the regular phalanges, you know. I Today I tested it just for fun and I got 305 max suction, which is a lot. I don't know that you'll need that much. That's a lot. Um, so, but 230 is totally fine. Anything, any pump that goes over 200, in my opinion, is going to give most people enough max suction that they need. The minimum suction, which I think is also important to note when you're talking about pumps, um, was pretty good, actually. The minimum 55 in both expression and stimulation mode was the minimum, which is great. I have no problem with that. And again, it doesn't really matter on the LV because the even the max suction is so gentle. I don't really know. I, one of these days, I will get around to publishing some graphs from all these pumps. And you can see the LV graph. I don't know what they're doing, but the suction is just gentler. It doesn't like rip your nipples off when it's pumping. Um, it's really soft and subtle. So again, if you don't like that, if you like to feel pull and like this is not a good pump for you and in fact I probably wouldn't recommend the original LV either if you like that that pulling the willow will give you much more of that sensation um and again another pump would give you a stronger I don't want to say stronger because this pump is pulling enough suction um it's just the feel to be honest it's just the feel what kind of, and if you've never pumped before, if you're a first time mom expecting, you're going to be like, how the heck am I supposed to know? And I get it. It's choosing a breast pump is not the easiest thing to do. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to make it easier for you, but I know it's kind of a guessing game. So if you know you have sensitive nipples or you have a uh, Raynaud syndrome, thank you for the diaper, or you have you know, you're really fair skinned, you're, if you're like a redhead or you just have really fair skin, you may have a lower, not lower pain tolerance, but just your skin is more sensitive. Um, you might really like this. All right. If you have darker skin, if you have, um, you know what, sometimes I think it's personality too. If you are that kind of like push forward energy gal and you're like, I like stuff rough. I like stuff to go like let's bam, bam, bam. I would not recommend this for you. 
and only because the feel, I think the suction is fine. I think the cups are great, but the feel may not be what suits you best, if that makes sense. But if you're like, yeah, I like to relax. I like, I, I trust that things are going to work. I don't have to feel that tugging, pulling sensation to get a letdown, to be confident that milk is coming out, then this is a really great option. It's very gentle. It's very soft. It's very quiet. Um, I gotta hook it up <laughs> so you can tell because it never sounds right when it's coming out like that. Let's see if I can find something to suction this to. My little baby likes to steal my... <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I have a million um, teaching models in here, bro, and he likes to steal them all the time. This is super quiet. So, anyway, LV Stride might be for you. It might not be for you, but I like it. So, it's fine. It's like, okay. <laughs> That's really confusing. Anyway, um, put your questions down below and I'll answer them the best that I can. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Say bye.